Scott Williamson here from Grow Parts for Less. We're going to be cooking on the Traeger today, the uh, P22 Pro from last year. Uh, replaced this year by the uh, uh, 575 series. We're going to be doing a 1-2-3 uh, Memphis rib uh, recipe. And uh, let's get started. We are running the grill at 275 degrees. We're now at 284 in the hopper. We're using the uh, signature blend, which is uh, maple, cherry, and hickory. Everything's hot and ready to go. We're gonna give the grill a little bit of a scrape. For the rubs today, we're gonna be using Traeger's pork and poultry. We're gonna be using Traeger's Traeger rub, and we're gonna be using Traeger's beef rub. Okay, so when you lay out your ribs, you're gonna have your bone side, and you're gonna have your meat side. We're gonna lay that meat side down, and what we have to do is we gotta get rid of this membrane right here. See this membrane that's this? We're just gonna kinda get our knife underneath the corner of it, and then using a paper towel, we should be able to pull this right off. See how we can get underneath it now like that? And then grab your paper towel, Using the paper towel, grab a hold of the membrane. We can grab a hold of a big piece of it. We're gonna pull it right off, just like so. Okay, once we got the membrane off, we're gonna use a binder. The binder allows the rubs to be able to kind of set on the meat without falling off. Um, a really good binder is uh, mustard. We're gonna be using Nathan's Coney, Coney Island Spicy Brown. Apply kind of a liberal amount of the mustard with our brush tool, just like so. This one right here. And we're gonna do a light dusting of this layer of the Traeger rub on top of this. A layer of the beef rub on top of this one. The beef rub is a molasses and chili pepper and the Traeger rub is a garlic and chili pepper. So, Okay, so this is standing out here about 15 minutes. Pretty much all of our dry is gone. Let's put them on the smoker. Okay, so uh, it's been about an hour and 10 minutes. We got our little uh, Traeger meat thermometer here. Let's uh, stick that in the meat and see what we come up to. I just measured it, we had 171.8. Um, uh, that's a perfect temp for us to uh, flip these over and uh, get ready to wrap them. Okay, so now we're going to take the ribs and we're just gonna flip them over. So, so to wrap our ribs, we're gonna take uh, some aluminum foil. This is step two. I like to double wrap. One. Two. Nice long sheets of it. Right now, we're gonna grab our ribs off the grill for a moment. I'm gonna place those right in the center. Next, using some butter, we're just gonna butter them up. Apply a little bit of butter. Right on the top. So go. And then we're gonna take a little bit of bourbon. I'm gonna splash that across there. And then we're gonna take some water. Just put some water across the top. Fold it up like you do a nice little tray. Hold it down tight. Just now that we have our uh, ribs on the grill uh, and they're all wrapped up with the bourbon and the butter, uh, we're gonna leave those on the grill until the internal temperature gets up to like 204 degrees or so, somewhere right around there. Uh, then we're gonna unwrap them and we'll go to step three, which is putting on the sauce.
All right, so had a lot of fun cooking these one, two, three ribs today for you. And uh, this is the finished product right there. So you can see all the uh, smoke coloring on the top of it, how juicy it is. This is the other side right there, a little bit of char on the bottom on the bone side. And uh, the best part about doing these ribs is uh, trying them out. Oh my God, it was so good.